Hey, welcome back to lesson 24 where we uh, practice a um, property of logarithms. This is the the problems that we are going to solve, so we start with the first one. The first one say practice this. Use the property of logarithms to expand the expression log natural log of x divided by 4. The property are like this. The natural, you, this is something that you need to know um, exactly, is this, is this function. The function, the log of x, the log of x, the natural log of x, pass through, through this point and is concave like this and it will when x is very big the slope is very small when you go like this so this graph of this is the love of x of course x love of x is defined for x bigger than zero so you can write the logs of the magnitude of x if you want right? x should be bigger than zero, so the domain is all real numbers bigger than zero, and the range, the range is from minus infinity to plus infinity. This is the range. The range is from here, and you can arrive any point, even if the slope is very small, like this one, you can arrive to any point. So when x tends to infinity, log of x tends to infinity. Mm -hmm. And the property of the logs that you study in pre-calculus is that the log of a by b, the log of the number a plus a multiplied by b, is the sum of the log of a plus the log of b. What it means this? It means take a point A, this one. See what is the log. This is the log of A. Take a point V. See what is the log. This is the log of V. Now go to the point that is the product, A multiplied by V. And the log of A multiplied by V will be this half. And the half is the sum of this half plus this half. So let me put it here. Log of A will be something like this. And log of B is something like this, even that I have not draw exactly the dimensions of the thing. But log of V is from here to here. That is, is supposed from here to here. So the slope is a little bit higher. Well, so if you take the number 3 and you take the number 4 and you take the number 12, the log of 12 is the log of 3 plus the log of 4. And another property that you know from pre-calculus, and we will study in calculus defining the log of a function by an integral, is something strange, eh, but in mathematics we, we do it often. We define a function like the integral of another function. So the log of x will be defined like the integral from 1 to x of 1 divided by t ddt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so the other property is that the log of a to the n, ah, this is the log of a plus multiplied by a, multiplied by a n times, and if you apply uh, this rule, this one, this rule, it will be it will be the log of a plus the log of a plus the log of a, et 
etc. Or n times the log of a. So another property is that the log of a raised to the n of a number a to the n is n times the log of a. So it means graphically, it means that if you take the log, the function, the log function, this is log of one is zero. If you take a number a and you see the height and you go to the number a to the n and you see the height, the log of a to the n, this height, if this is log of a, this height is n times the log of, of a. This is the log of a to the n is n times n times means n times one two three etc maybe my picture is not good but i think you understand what i mean and the other thing that you need to know is that the log of a divided by v is the log of a minus the log of v and it's easy to to derive this equation from the product, from a is the same that writing like this, a multiplied by 1 divided by v is log of a plus log of 1 divided by v, or equal the log of a plus the log of b minus 1, or applying the property log of a minus 1 log of b. Mm -hmm. So it's the same. So let's go to do the problem now. What is the log of x divided by 4? The log of a divided by 4 is the, is the log of x minus the log of 4. So let's go. You can do it like a product. The product is the sum of the log of x plus the log uh, sum of 1, 4. Now the log of 1, 4 is the log of 4 minus 1. And the log of 4 minus 1 is log of x minus log of 4. Of course, you can do it directly. Do it like this. The log of a divided by v is the log of a minus the log of b. It will be the log of x minus the log of x divided by 4 will be the log of x minus the log of 4. Mm -hmm. And it's the same result. Let's go again to another problem. Use the property of logarithms to expand this expression. This is the expression of the product of two terms, x and a square root of x squared plus 5. Write x squared square plus 5 like x squared plus 5 raised to the power 1 half, and you will have the log of x plus s multiplied by the square root of x squared plus 5 equal the log of the product of x multiplied by the product of x squared plus 5 raised to the 1 half. And the product of two functions is the sum of the log of every function. So it will be the log of x plus the log of x squared plus 1 half. So it will be the log of x plus 1 half will go downward, will lower the 1 half, and the final result will be log of x plus 1 half log of x squared plus 5. And this is equal to this expression. Mm -hmm. Okay, next problem. Write down 3 log of x plus 2 times log of y minus 4 times log of c to as a logarithm of a single quantity. So you work with this quantity. 3 log of x is log of x cubed. The 3 go up. 2 log of y is log of y squared. Mm -hmm. y squared y square, I don't know why, I made a mistake, y 
squared minus 4 times log of C is minus log of C raised to the 4 power. So now I have the sum of the logarithm is the product, is the logarithm of the product, is the logarithm of x cubed by y squared, I'm sorry, by y squared, minus the log of theta 4. And the difference between logarithms is the log of the quotient. So it's the log of x cubed y squared, and again, let me correct this, x cubed y x squared, divided by theta 4, and this is the final answer. Let's go to practice another one. Another one. You have the expression 2 log of 3 minus 1 half of logs of x squared plus 1. We have to write this equation as a logarithm of a single quantity. Well, I see that the 2, I can put it log of 3 squared. And I think, I see that this 1 half can go up here. So, it will be. It will be. What do you think it will be? Log of 3 half minus log of x squared plus 1 raised to the power 1 half. Mm -hmm. And now I have to compress this expression. How do I compress the log of a minus the log of b is the log of a divided by b. So this will be the log of 3 squared divided by x squared plus 1 raised to the power 1 half. Or in other terms, the log of 9 divided by a square root of x squared plus 1. And the problem is solved. We have a star with this expression, long expression, and we have n2 with a compressed expression. Now, let's go to another question. We are going to practice now the derivative of the log. The log of x, the derivative, just to remind you, the derivative respect to x of the log of x is 1 divided by x. And this is the reason why we define log of x like the integral from x equal 1 to x of 1 divided by t d dt. Okay, so the derivative of the log of x is 1 divided by x. And what is the derivative respect to x of the logs not of x, of f of x? There is a function inside the log in the input of the log of the natural logarithm is a function. It's not x. It's not the function x. It's the it's another function, maybe x squared. It's one divided by the function multiplied by the derivative of the function. So let's go to apply this equation to several cases. What is the derivative of log of x? Hmm. 1 divided by x. I think so. Hmm. What is the derivative of log of f of, of f of x? The derivative is 1 divided by the function by the derivative of the function. OK. And what is the derivative of the log of 3x? It's 1 divided by the function. 1 divided by 3x multiplied by the derivative of 3x, which is 3. So the result will be 1 divided by x. OK. OK. So find the derivative of the log of x raised to the power 4. Mm. Is these things the same that log of x4? Is this thing the same log of x is the same thing? No. This is something different. This is the log of a number 
This is the log of maybe it should x equal e to e raised to the 4. And this is different than the log of e to the 4. Because the log of e to the 4 is 4 times the log of e. And the log of e, the natural log of e, is 1. So this is 4. And in this case, the log of e is 1. And 1 raised to the 4 is 1. So this is different. This is two things different. So let's go to do the problem. It says find the derivative of the function. So the log of x uh, raised to the power 4 is the log of x by the log of x by the log of x by the log of x. So we have a product of a function. And the derivative of a product of a function is the derivative of the first by the second without touching. Plus, plus what? Plus the, plus the derivative of the second plus the first and the second and the third and the fourth not touching. Plus the derivative, plus the first multiplied by the second by multiplied by the derivative of the third plus the second plus. Oh, and this, what I see, I see four times, so it's four divided by x multiplied by log of x three times. And log of x multiplied three times is log of x cube. So the derivative is 4 times 1 divided by x log of x cube. Or the derivative of log of x raised to the power 4 is 4 times log of x by the derivative of log of x. So it's 4 times log of x by the derivative of log of x. And this is the result. OK, another problem. Find the derivative of x squared log of x. To find the derivative of x squared by log of x, we have the product of two functions. The first function is x squared. The second function is log of x. The derivative of the first function is 2x. So it's the derivative of the first function. 2x multiply by the second plus the second x squared multiply by the plus the first x squared multiply by the derivative of the second, which is 1x. Now I can write this uh, x squared divided by x is x. I can take common factor 2x. And the final result will be x that multiplied 2 log of x plus 1. This is the derivative of x squared multiplied by log, natural log of x. Find the derivative of log, problem 8, find the derivative of log of log of x squared. The x is with the 1 that is squared. So the derivative of the log of a function is 1 divided by the function by the derivative of the function. So the function is log of x squared. So the derivative of log of f of x is 1 divided by f of x multiplied by the derivative of f of x. You see? Now we can find the derivative respect to x of the log of x squared. So it will be 1 divided by the log, natural log of x squared, by the derivative of, l of, the, of, log, of the logarithm of x squared. We have to apply again the same equation, this equation, OK? And now x squared is the function. So it will be 1 divided by the function by the derivative of the function, 2x. The final result will be x will cancel with dx. 
So it will be 2 divided by x, or the final result will be, will be, will be equal to 2 times log of x squared will be 2 times log of x. Multiply by x. Now the 2 will cancel and will, will be 1 time. 1 time. The 2 will cancel and the final result is log of x multiplied by x. And this is the final result. So the derivative respect to x of this expression is 1 divided by x log of x. It means that the integral of 1 divided by x log of x d dx is the log of the log of x squared plus c. Okay. Okay, let's go to the problem. Find the derivative of the function log of secant x plus tangent x. Have an absolute value because we want the, the domain is uh, in the domain of the logarithm function is from for x be uh, positive. So the derivative respect to the x of log of secant x plus tangent x is 1 divided by the function by the derivative of secant x plus tangent x. Now, if you remember, secant x is 1 divided by cosine of x. And the derivative of 1 divided by cosine of x is sine divided by cosine squared, or in other terms, tangent x multiplied by secant x. Secant divided by cosine is tangent. And one divided by the other cosine is the secant. So we have to make the derivative of this. And this is the derivative of the first. The derivative of secant of x. This is the derivative of secant of x. Of secant x. The derivative of secant x is tangent x, secant x. And the derivative of tangent x is secant squared of x. If you make the derivative of secant tangent x, it will be secant x. So let's go to find the final result. 1 divided by the function. The derivative of secant x is tangent x, secant x. And the derivative of tangent x is secant squared of x. We can take a common factor to secant x, and the result will be secant x that multiply to secant x, that multiply secant x plus tangent x. So the result will be secant x will cancel tangent x with secant plus tangent will cancel, and the result will be Yes, secant x. So this is the result. So the log of secant x plus tangent x, the derivative of this function is secant x. So let's say that the derivative of the log, the derivative respect to x of the log of secant plus tangent is secant x. So the integral of secant x the antiderivative of secant x d dx is log of secant x plus tan x plus c. And one derivative equation takes rise to another integral equation. Okay. Now, mm, let's go to solve this problem go now to solve this problem. Find the equation of the tangent line to log of x cubed. The log of x cubed is y equal 3 times the log of x. Um, the log of x is something like this. It's 1. 
and the log of x cubed is three times the log of x. So if I'm here, the log of x cubed will be one, two, three times. If I'm here, it will be zero. If I'm here, the log of x cubed will be minus one, minus two, minus three, will be this point. So the graph will be this graph. When it's zero, it's zero, and will be this graph. Oh, this is the love of x cubed, and this is the love of x. Love of x and love of x cubed. Mm -hmm. And what it says is find the derivative of love of x cubed. So the derivative of love of x is here. And the derivative of log of x cubed is here. They are not having the same slope at the same point x. Mm -hmm. So, the derivative of a function, the derivative of the function f of x, when you have y equal the log of f of x, the derivative you already know that it's 1 divided by the function by the derivative of the function. So it will be 1 divided by x cubed by the derivative of the function. 1 divided by x cubed by the derivative of x cubed, which is 3x squared, so the derivative will be 3x. So it means that the slope here is 3 times the slope here. Okay. So, what is here? Ah, find the equation of the tangent line at the point 1, 0. x equal 1, 0 is this point, this point. x equal 1 is this point. You know, the slope of love of x here, the slope, is this one. What is the slope here for, for love of x? I'm going to erase here. Look, what is the slope? The slope is 1 divided by x, when x equal 1, so the slope is 1. And what is the slope here? The slope here is bigger. What is the slope here? And the slope here is 3 divided by 1. The slope here is 3 divided by 1, is 3 times. Mm -hmm. So, they ask for the slope at x equal 1 of this graph will be 3 instead of 1. So let's go to solve it. Let's go to solve it. If y equal x cubed, y equal 3 times slope of x, so the derivative will be 1 divided by the function by the derivative of the function of 3 divided by x. At the point x equal 1, the derivative of x will be 3. So the slope will be 3, and the equation of the tangent line will be y equal y0 plus m multiplied by x minus x0, where the point y0, x0, the point x0, y0 is the point 1, comma, 0. So applying this in this information to the curve, y0 is equal 0, 0 plus 3 times m by x minus x0, which is x0 is 1. So the equation of the tangent line is 3x minus 3. Now problem 11 say they give you an expression, log of x uh, multiplied by y plus, 5 of, uh, plus 5x equal 30, and they ask you use implicit differentiation to find the derivative of y respect to x, to find y prime. So we apply the derivative to this expression, we apply the derivative of this expression, and the derivative of 30 will be 0, the derivative of 5x will be 5, and the derivative of log of x multiplied by y is 1 divided by the function, 1 divided by x multiplied by y, by the derivative of x multiplied by y. So if you see the expression, will be like this. 
Now we have to make the derivative respect to x of the function x multiplied by y. And the derivative is the derivative of the product x multiplied by y. So it will be 1 divided by x, mm, divide x multiplied by y by the derivative of the first is the derivative of the product x, x multiplied by, by y is the derivative of x respect to x with this one multiplied by the second plus the first by the derivative of y respect to x so the result will be like this mm -hmm. and now I have the implicit differentiation the derivative of y respect to x and I have to solve this expression for the derivative of y respect to x. Doing a little bit of algebra, you will find that 1 divided by x, the y will cancel with the y, 1 divided by x, the x will cancel with the x, so it will be 1 divided by y, with the derivative of y respect to x equal minus 5. So if you do a little bit of algebra, you will find that the derivative of y respect to x will be minus 5 times xy minus y divided by x. So the derivative of x of y respect to x is a function that depends on the point x y. It depends on x and y. This is implicit differentiation. Now let's go to use our technique of logarithm and the property of logarithm to find the derivative of the, of y when y is the square root of x square minus one divided by x square plus one for the case when x should be bigger than one and x should be bigger than one because this guarantee that this is bigger than zero okay so we start with the function y equal x squared minus 1 divided by x squared plus 1, 1 half. Mm -hmm. We take the logarithm in both sides of the expression. Aha. So the logarithm of this will be 1 half log, log of x squared minus 1 divided by x squared plus 1. So the logarithm of the of the quotient of two functions is the logarithm of a minus the logarithm of b. The log of a divided by b is the log of a minus the log of b. Okay, now I take the derivative here. The derivative of the log of y is 1 divided by the function by the derivative of the function. Now I take the derivative here. The derivative here is 1 half, 1 half, 1 divided by the function, x squared minus 1, by the derivative of the function, 2x minus. The derivative of a log x squared plus 1. 1 divided by the function by the derivative of the function. Now the problem is solved. We remember that y, y is here. y is the square root of x squared minus 1 divided by x squared plus 1. So what is the slope? The slope will depend on x and y. Uh, the slope will be the derivative of y respect to x, doing a little bit of algebra, doing a little bit of algebra, doing a little bit of algebra, you will find this slope. This is the slope, the y. So we found the derivative of y respect to x, taking the logarithm of the expression and using implicit differentiation. And again... The slope at any point is a function of the x and the y. It's not like uh, implicit differentiation means that this will happen. It's not like the normal differentiation when f of x is equal x squared, so the derivative of x respect to x will depend only on x. Okay. Uh, and y, you can plug in y here, and now if you plug in y here, you will find the derivative of y respect to the x 
equal to x by y, but y is a square root of, of x squared minus 1 divided by x squared plus 1 divided by x squared minus 1 by x squared plus 1. And now it's a function of x. Okay, this equation and this equation is the same one. Okay, maybe, maybe, well, it's okay. Maybe I didn't, I was not lucky to use the F, but because it can be confusing with this F. I know there is no F. Okay. Okay, good. Let's go to the last problem finally. Use your knowledge of graphing to graph the function y equal x log of x. Well, if you use your calculator, it will it will show you that the graph of x log of x will be something like this. It's a curve like this. Um, we can practice. When x tends to zero, the x log of x is the log of x divided by one divided by x, and this is of the four. When x tends to zero, log of x tends to minus infinity. Um, one divided by x tends to infinity. So this is a L'Hopital rule: infinity divided by infinity is a undetermined a quotient that we can make the derivative of the numerator, 1 divided by x, divided by the derivative of the denominator, minus 1 divided by x squared. And the division of 1 divided by x will be minus x. So when x tends to 0, minus x tends to 0. So this will be will not be defined at x equal, at x equal 0. It's not defined. It has a hole at x equals 0. But at x equals 0, the function wants to be 0. OK. So the minimum, how you will find the minimum? The minimum is here, is when the slope is horizontal, or when the slope is 0. So the minimum or the maximum. We don't know if it's a minimum or maximum. So we find the derivative of y respect to x of the function is the derivative of the first one by the second plus the first by the derivative of the second. The second is log of x, one divided by x. So this will be log of x plus one. So when this will be zero, when log of x is minus one. When this will be true, when e raised to the power minus one equal x. Remember that the log in base e, like the natural log is base e, of x equal y, if, only if, e raised to the y equal x. So what I have done is e raised to minus 1, e raised to minus 1 should be x. So x is 1 divided by e. So the minimum occur um, is a possible minimum. You have to check the second derivative. The minimum occur at x equal 1 divided by e. e. So this, um, the, the second derivative is positive uh, at this point 1 divided by e. So if it's positive, it means that the curve is something like this, is, uh, is something like this, and it's a minimum. So the minimum is at x equal 1 divided by e, and the function y equal x log of x have this uh, shape, this shape, and at the minimum, at x equal 1 divided by e, the value of the function is 1 divided by e also. So this is the minimum value. And of course, the slope after the minimum is positive. After x bigger than 1 divided by e, the slope is positive. 
Okay, we finish here.